All right. Whoa. Hey, I am going to show you guys in this video how I record stuff. Um, this is actually done as a personal request from one of my friends. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I record everything and uh, what some tips are and what to use and all that fun stuff. Um, so here we're going to go. Um, first thing that you need to know is before you record anything, how to make yourself not appear or not to get any notifications. Um, I'm not going to do any showing any direct records. I'm just going to record it with my camera. So what you want to do is, so you don't get those pesky friend online things without having to go offline, is you go to preferences from your dashboard or your uh, Xbox guide. You want to go online status and press busy. Um, I have my Windows Live Messenger on here and I just put that as busy as well. So no messages will show up. And so that'll annoy, take off all the annoyances. Now, here's where you get into the technical stuff. Um, along with my TV here, component, if you have component video and analog as well, that'll work. But you can't do HDMI recording unless your capture card supports HDMI. Mine is an analog one. I use the Dazzle. Um, right here, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but right here is where my Xbox plugs into. This is directly from the Xbox. And what it does is it splits right here. One goes off in this direction towards my recorder, and this one goes off onto my stereo system right here. And that gives me sound. And then the video, the component, goes right up. Might be extremely difficult to see, but that's the component right there. And that goes up onto my TV, and that gives me some video. And component is almost the same as HDMI, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so if you want the best quality, that's how to do it. Here's my really messy desk. So anyway, going back here, the wire just goes um, straight down here, and right here is my Dazzle next to a sock. And all you gotta do is plug in the parts right there. You can also do S-Video, which one of my friends tells me, Chris, he's the other person who posts on this account, that S-Video gives you better quality. So anyway, the wire runs, and it plugs into your computer in the USB drive. Now, um, I suggest using the Dazzle to record if you want a low budget recorder. Whoop, there you go. And so anyway, whoa. Um, if you buy the Dazzle, it'll come with a software called the Pinnacle Recorder. Let's open it up here. StarCraft II is awesome. Better get it. But anyway, while it opens, now here you go right there you see my screen it may take a few tries but this will just get you started um, when it says select capture device you want to do this in the advanced mode because the beginners mode kind of sucks uh, you just want to choose the dazzle dvc 100 you want to put it in a hard drive disk folder not on a dvd because it burns it much faster and i've had it not work with my dvd um, i suggest recording in the best possible um, video quality and then that'll work. Um, I've had some problems with, um, hold on, let's see, right here. You want to put, if you live in America, you want to put the video standard to NTSC. Any other, the PAL is like Europe, and you just want to keep changing them until you get it correct. And so that'll work. And then right here, you see my thing? I suggest putting your sound all the way down. Don't mute it. I don't know if it changes anything. Whoa put all your sound down right there and let's just go ahead and record it's very very simple all you do is press start record now before you do that you'll need to find a folder I just put it in this folder right here um, you always want to make sure that your folder is cleared and right here you'll see recordings and I just it makes a new folder and it puts all these weird ass files in there don't worry about it Man, I keep holding it wrong Holding it with the left hand is kind of awkward, sorry. So anyway, we're going to start recording because nothing's in there. It's going to override it. And it'll say the disk is now burning. So that's good. And after it records for five seconds, it'll allow you to stop. So we're going to stop right here. It says burning is complete. You can start over if you want to record more afterwards. Or you can exit. I'm just going to exit. We're going to go to my videos. We want to go to recordings right here. And it'll have 01 underscore 1. You want to cut that. 
put it in a different folder. We'll just put it in here and rename it. We're going to rename this test. All right. So now recording, or not recording, editing softwares is kind of different. It totally depends on your budget. If you have, if you want to spend some money and get Sony Vegas or Adobe, Pre Adobe Premiere, that's totally up to you. If you want to go free and legal, you can use Windows Movie Maker. It's a fine choice as well. Um, I don't encourage this, but you can pirate software. I'm not saying you should, but if you want some better software but you don't want to spend the money then that's always an option out there so in this demonstration I'll use Sony Vegas 9 which is what I have I bought it so of the very few I follow the law here's one of my old videos you just want to go to a new project we're just gonna name this test and then we're just gonna put it up oh yeah my video settings I have it on America and Japan output type I'm not sure yet you want to put it at stereo, I do, and then finish, it's new. Now we're going to import our media, Woo. see, import media in the file bar, or project bar, and then we're going to select that thing we just put in, see where is it, now it doesn't recognize the VOB file type, so you'll have to go to all files, there it is. We're going to open it. It's going to import it. We just want to drag it down to the bar right here. And here we go. There it is. Now, as far as this goes, um, Dazzle provides a small line. So you want to make a crop that sort of... Ooh, hold on. I'll let you guys see. You want to make it cropped a little bit on every edge. So it a weird-ass line appears on each recording of the Dazzle. So... Um, if that's how you're going to do it, um, that's how you definitely want to do it. You don't want to maintain your uh, aspect ratio. This is for uh, posting everything in HD. I post it in HD even though it's not true HD. Now the settings you want to do for HD, if you want to do it this way, figure out your own settings if you don't want to. You go to properties, you want to have the width. Let's get a close up here. You want to have the width 1280 and the height 720. Um, frame rate, you want a 30 frames per second. Um, pixel aspect ratio, square. Lower field first for field order. Um, full resolution best, blend fields. Um, and then you just want to do start all new projects with these settings. And that's basically it. Afterwards, all you got to do. Now, Sony Vegas 7 has the option to batch render. Sony Vegas 9, and I'm not sure if 8 does either, don't. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to render this. Um, I make a separate folder for renders, but for this purpose, we're just going to put it here. So, um, I recommend WMV. It's the most... Whoa, hold on. WMV is the most stable file size. So, we're just going to go ahead and render. Everything renders differently depending on how long it is. This will probably take like 30 seconds to render. And what we're going to do now is load up YouTube. And from this point, we're going to upload... Oh, there's upload. And then all you got to do is once this video is done rendering, oh, scroll out here. See the little progress bar and my sexy little avatar that uh, looks like a transvestite. And just going to wait here. It's 12 seconds. It gives a little progress. Loop. So anyway, when it gets very close, you can just go to Broadcast Yourself, or YouTube, it says Broadcast Yourself. You want to go to Upload Video. Um, it saved it in a weird spot. Uh, where the hell did it save it? Ah, here we go. Projects. Then we go to Test. Ooh. It saved it in a weird spot. You probably want to make your own uh, folder where you want to put all these. And you just go to Renders, and you want to upload that. I'm just going to make this private so nobody can see it, except for you guys who are watching this video about making another video. And uh, this is going too long, so I need to finish this up. And so it's almost done uploading. 
Um, as far as PC specs for recording, I recommend having at least two gigabytes of RAM. One gigabyte will be okay, but it won't very be it won't be good at rendering. Um, I also recommend having at least a one megabyte per second upload speed. Otherwise, you can run into big problems in trying to upload. Um, I have a 1.5 megabytes per upload speed, and that's how fast it uploads in. So anyway, here's your video in my videos. It's just called test. There's one of my other videos, yay. And so all we gotta do now is wait for it to finish processing. And once it does that, you the masses can see your video. But uh, it's not done processing and this video is going way too long. So see you guys later. I'm just gonna directly post this, I guess.